Okay, so we can start, I think we have enough pieces here, we can start to build him and build his walk. And in the interest of time, I just I stole his little bindle here from the from the original file. Uh, there's nothing in here that you don't already know how to do. This is just reusing the same techniques we did for basically for everything. Uh, but just to show you, uh, these are just shapes. They're not even symbolized or grouped or anything. They're just raw shapes inside of the symbol itself. So there's the parts of the knot and then the package here and then the stripes. And these are these are just using the um, this brush with the, like the little double bump in the profile just to give a little texture. I think I did that in, in the other vest. I forgot to do it in this recreation. Whatever, it's fine. Okay, so that's it. And it's just one. It's just one shape, and it's I have it uh, centered around where the knot is. That's where it would swing, I guess, around there, or whatever. So uh, we can start putting them together. And start building his walk. So uh, let's just start putting things roughly where they need to be. And I, I, I can put this sort of. Let's take, you know what? Let's do. Let's take a look at. We're gonna put him inside of his own symbol. And when we do that, the center of where he is is gonna it'd be useful to know where that's gonna be because uh, whenever we zoom in, it zooms in on the center of the symbol. So I'm gonna just have him centered on the stage for now. I need to do let's these two have to be combined into a leg a single leg composition or a single leg symbol so I'm going to convert this to a symbol we'll call this leg comp and we're going to build hierarchies in a very specific way I'm going to put this what I need to do is put that pivot like right smack or in the middle where it needs to be there okay so that's going to be like Oh, probably about there, I guess. And moving this guy out of the way. All right, and then this needs to be probably back up in like that. And maybe a little longer. I need to break it apart because it always wants to make it an object. All right, that's cool. And then this can be up here. Tail needs to live. Down in here. And my layer order is all screwy. I need to fix that too. So tail's going to be behind everything. Let's do this. All those parts. We're going to put a line there so everything below that will be kind of... Okay, so the upper leg needs to be up here. Oh, upper leg and lower leg are parts. They can live down there. Uh, everything else I think is good. So we can just do this. Let's do it this way. It's probably easier. Okay, well, this actually is something we need. That's actually the near leg. Okay, um, so the stick needs to be in the back. Middle needs to be in the back of the stick. Okay, that's good for now. I, I don't have, I, what I could do, I could go ahead and duplicate. Here, let me show you. I could duplicate the leg now. I don't want to. I'm gonna. I'm gonna delete it later if I do. But let me show you. I can duplicate this. Make this the far leg. If you want to be really complete about this, which is cool. We can do that. Um, it should be behind the body, which it is. And here's a little trick we can do. Since this is a symbol, we can take the color effect. We can drop the brightness down like 10% and give a load of tint. I talked before about how I, I wanted to eliminate having to deal with outlines. And so one way to kind of cheat getting some separation would be to, you know, you can tint or darken or lighten parts. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to duplicate and this to make an arm. 
This will be my near arm. This will be above the body. Spell it right. Would help. All right, and it's giant, so I'm going to make it a little bit littler. That. Boop. And then I'm going to duplicate it once more. And this will be my far arm. All right, and then I'm going to put it like about like that. I'm going to drag it behind the body, and we're going to tint it because we can. Be aware, too, that uh, where you select things makes it matters. Like If you select things on the stage, it can be different than selecting them in the timeline and, and how it's reflected here in the properties panel. So like I was looking, you know, I wanted to change the brightness on this. And if I had selected it here, um, this is a different, this is a different place that brightness can be uh, adjusted. And you want to be consistent with where you do it because it can, this is sort of uh, doing it here is on the, on the symbol level means one thing, doing it here on the timeline level means something else. So just be aware uh that because we're going to use that to our advantage later on in the glow if, when we do the glows and the shadows and stuff okay so uh that arm should probably be behind the leg actually okay so the other thing to be aware of now is that these are actually the same these are all actually the same symbol so if i go in here and change one it's changing all of them and that's not what we want Right? That's why I didn't want to do that originally. But uh, if you're doing, if you're building a character to, uh, you know, animate just to do whatever, we'll go ahead and do that first. And I'm going to go back and I'll build the walk and show you how what the difference is because we're going to reuse symbols from the walk. Also, I got some layer ordering issues here. They should be behind everything. So how do you keep that from happening? Because that's kind of messed up looking. Bring it back down where it was. Okay, so uh, we need to make these discrete. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to do this. I'm going to swap this. I'm actually going to duplicate it. Per no, swap symbol here. I don't know if you can see that because it's clipping down off my screen. Let me go ahead and do it this way. Select the uh, you know on the stage and go here. Swap symbol and I'm going to actually do this little tiny little button here, which is duplicate. And now I get to call this. This is my near leg. And it's already uh, assigned it to that now. That's actually what that is. And I'll do the same thing for this one. And call this far leg comp. And I'll do the same thing here. And it's okay that I have some duplicates here. It's kind of like now I have like a master arm symbol if I were to go, need to go back to it. These are not really huge. It's not a huge performance hit for me to have it in the library or anything like that. This is my near arm. I want to be consistent with my naming. I'm not doing a good job of it right now. Uh, some things are capitalized. And I was using camel case for a while. Now I just kind of blew it up. I just have whatever going on. Uh, and this last one now is my far leg or far arm. So now they're all discrete separate symbols. So if I go in and I change this one, it's not gonna break the others, right? So you understand the difference between like an instance that's reused or discrete symbols. So uh, my little guy's built, I'm ready to animate him. Let's save that out and let's go.